mean, it's absolutely fantastic news that we're standing in front of the I-9 building, a building that the council invested in for exactly this type of opportunity. Now we've got this government department, they've taken two floors of this impressive building and we're in advanced discussions. So we expect in the next three or four weeks, this will be fully let. And isn't that fantastic news? And the jobs that will bring and the buzz and excitement around the commercial district is already happening. We're going to get a lot of visitors here, a lot of visitors around the country. A lot of businesses who perhaps look at Wolverhampton in, with a different eye, thinking, hang on a second, if we want to speak to the government, perhaps we should relocate there. So that's the type of extra business, extra economy we're looking for. And people will have noticed, certainly over the last few years, um, this is becoming our commercial, our commercial district. And, and why wouldn't you? We've got that fantastic transport interchange. You know, all roads lead to Wolverhampton, tram, train, bus. And we'll, you'll, people will have noticed the other buildings that have appeared. Just across the road, we've got the I-10, which, which has various businesses in it. And then this one behind us, the new I-9. And it's looking at a particular area of the city of how we can generate growth, how we can get new jobs. And that's the important thing for our city. And so the council took a very brave, a very brave decision um, a couple of years ago and yet again last year to build these various office blocks. They're grade A, they are top of the range in, 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 in IT connectivity and they are wanted. They are bringing in some of the, the highest rents ever achieved in our city. They are that, that quality and people recognise it's great for transport, it will be great for the nighttime economy and so this is just part of our, of our relighting our city getting a business sector, a commercial sector, an entertainment sector, a sporting sector, of which we know we've got a fantastic history. So it's part of that realising agenda. And, you know, we, we, we will go anywhere, speak to anyone to get as many jobs, as many businesses interested and have an organisation such as the government take up space in our city will we'll help us drive more businesses and more jobs into our economy. 126 people will be employed here um, and nearly 100 of them are new jobs with many coming from Wolverhampton and the local area and I'm pleased to say our own Wolves in Work have helped many of those applicants get these new jobs but that's only the start of the new jobs. We all heard the announcement at the very beginning, nine months ago, 12 months ago that there'll be up to 500 jobs in, the, in, this, in this particular establishment and, and other feeder establishments. How does it help us as a city? And you talk about the green economy, the circular economy. It's about a new way of working within our resources. This particular department has experts that, world experts, national experts in that type of um, vision for the future. So in the medium term to long term, they'll be working with our Brownfield Institute, with the university, with the city council, to see how we can do our part in helping um, certainly make Britain, Wolverhampton, the region, certainly a better place, a cleaner place to live in, fit for our children.